How to sound like Steve Reich. How do you make music that makes you want to move, but not change your place? How can our experience of time be shaped by the pulse we feel? The goal today is to come up with a track that, to the best of my ability, resembles the musical style of Steve Reich. In order to do this, we need to take a very close look at what he does. First of all, his music is dominated by rhythm and percussion rather than traditional melodicism. A minimal set of notes are used, especially in short, self-contained motivic units. These are repeated for lengthy periods of time in ways that create a strong pulse with plenty of polyrhythms and odd meters. The harmonic language is largely tonal in the sense that the polarity between tonic and dominant is strong, but traditional cadences are not used in their usual manners. Generally, I gravitate towards uh, dominance, subdominance, simple, uh, basic parts of the of the Western vocabulary. Why dominance? Dominance are dominance want to go somewhere. Motivic development does not happen in the conventional sense, where ideas and harmonies are elaborated upon and transformed in dramatic ways. Rather, tiny changes in rhythm, placement, and or tone create ripple effects that transform the flow of the music over a long period of time. This happens in a very seamless manner. Richness of tone and color is achieved by the frequent doubling of like instruments, such as the use of multiple mallet instruments or keyboards. Phasing is a technique found in many of his works. It's what happens when two sounds that are playing identical material come in and out of sync due to minor differences in tempo. This interaction produces a distinct set of complicated rhythms and textures. Unlike many themes such as nature, the mystique, and religion that are found in a lot of traditional classical music, the theme that accompanies many of his works are of the urban environment. Samples are frequently used, especially documentary material that is voice-driven or of city sounds. Where he, there were a couple of attacks and different pitches, a different, more sustained horn, very different that. The, the tempo is set by this pile driver, which is the, what you see driving the metal into the ground when you're building a very tall building. Oftentimes, speech samples are accompanied by pitches that match the natural inflection of the voice. When I began to write different trains, and that was the first time that I used pre-recorded speaking, listened to what people said, wrote down the speech melody, and had musicians in an ensemble play what somebody was saying by how they were speaking. I'll show you later. Abraham, ups and leaves. Just leave mother, father, and everybody else and go. I think people in different countries write different kinds of music based on their language. Uh, bel canto, opera, comes out of Italy. Uh, rock and roll comes out of America, comes out of spoken American English and English English, and bel canto. Italian rock and roll, French rock and roll, is not very interesting. And it's really based on the speech melody of the musicians and the whole gesture of a culture. Reich powerfully blends tradition with innovation. However radical he may seem upon first listen, the rhythms, polyrhythms, phrasing, as well as arrangement of pitches are all grounded within the core elements of traditional music. The complexity of certain polyrhythms and unexpected harmonic changes are derived from a unique way of shifting. Think of a kaleidoscope, how immensely beautiful and complex patterns emerge from a contained set of objects behind the mirror. And now here's my arrangement of Happy Birthday in the style of Steve Reich.
even when you're blowing out the candles on a cake. It's important to keep far enough away from the burning candles so that they won't burn you. Happy birthday to you. If it isn't, happy unbirthday to you. Happy birthday to you. If it isn't, happy unbirthday to you. Happy birthday to you. If it isn't birthday to you, be unbirthday. If it isn't happy birthday, be unbirthday to you. If it isn't happy unbirthday to you. If it isn't birthday to you, happy unbirthday. If it isn't happy unbirthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. If it isn't, if it isn't be unbirthday, happy unbirthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. If it isn't, it isn't happy unbirthday, unbirthday to you.